Hi there, my name is Lawrence Tyndall here at Glidefast Consulting, and in today's ServiceNow tutorial, I'm going to be covering visual task boards. Before we go into the system, I want to spend a few minutes explaining what a visual task board is. A visual task board is an interactive graphical experience that allows you to view and update tasks across multiple lanes in a Kanban style board. Visual task boards are great if you wish to organize you and your team's tasks visually and collaborate on them together. With visual task boards, you can add tasks from any tables that extend the task table, for example, incident and change. This type of task board is called a data-driven board. On the other hand, you can also create visual task boards that aren't tied to any tables. These are called freeform task boards, and these task boards allow you to just create task cards and drag and drop them around however you like. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a data-driven task board for managing incidents. The first thing you'll want to do is open up ServiceNow and in the Application Navigator, type in Visual Task Boards. Underneath the self-service application, click on the Visual Task Boards module. You'll now be navigated to this Visual Task Boards page. Now click on the Create New Visual Task Board hyperlink. Now from this module, I'm going to select the Data Driven Board option. And now from this screen, I'm going to select the Incident as the Task Table, and in the Vertical Lane field, this field allows you to select what field on the Incident table will be used to represent lanes on the board. For today's example, I'm going to select State, since I want to display all of my incidents by their state. For the final field, Swim Lane field, I'm going to leave this blank because I don't want to add swim lanes to this task board at this time. Now click on the next button. From this final screen, you can apply filter conditions to hide and display certain records. In today's example, I'm going to apply a filter to hide closed incidents. That way we won't see any closed incidents on our task board. To do this, I'm going to select the state field and add a filter condition that only displays incidents with an open state. Now click on the create button. As you can see, the visual task board is now set up and we can see all of our incidents in the various lanes. Now we can easily see all of our incidents, understand what state they're in, who they are assigned to, and how long they've been open for. From the visual task board, I can easily reassign any incident, update them with comments, and move them to another state. And it's as simple as that. Creating a visual task board in ServiceNow is a simple task, and can provide you and your team with a lot of value. And that is all for today's ServiceNow tutorial on visual task boards. If you like this video and would like to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe to our channel today.